Episode one of the big lap. We made it to Cape York. Oh. That was a mirror. This has got to be up there with one of the best spots I've ever been to. Absolute perfect home for a crocodile. This is not ideal. Send help. <laughs> Are they serious? That looks terrifying. I reckon the D-Max 2X would not be good. Oh man, this is not the old Teletrack. I don't even know where we are right now, but... The noises this thing is making. Oh. Cape York. This might make you think of the old telegraph track. About four-wheel drives hammering down Gunshot Creek and vehicle chassis falling victim to the unforgiving washouts on the Peninsula Development Road. And this is definitely all part of it. But the Cape is also so much more than that. It's home to some of the most iconic and beautiful waterfalls and creeks in the country. It's red dirt highways, campfires and sleeping under the stars. It's a remote paradise like no other. Join us on this iconic road trip as we tackle the old telegraph track and trek to the most northerly point on the Australian continent in our four-wheel drive. This is remote Australian wilderness at its very best. The question is, are you willing to get there? All right, the start of an adventure. We're at Bramwell Roadhouse at the start of the old telly track. And for those who watched the build series, uh, obviously we've got a brand new D-Max. We've brought it straight to the old telly track as you do when you buy a brand new car. <laughs> Where else would you take it? <laughs> <laughs> we're a little bit nervous, but we have done our research. We reckon we will be fine and we're super excited about it, hey? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, this is a, a real bucket list trip. We've been fortunate enough to do lots of other parts of Australia, but this is obviously a pretty iconic four-wheel driving track. And um, yeah, we've been wanting to do this for many, many years. So we're definitely looking forward to it. We stayed at Bremel Roadhouse, which is the start of the old telly track last night at the campground. It was beautiful. Uh, our plan was to leave today and we ended up deciding to leave in the afternoon, hey, just to let some other cars sort of filter through the track before we yeah. got on potentially to have a little bit of the track to ourselves. Yeah, so it's about 2.30 in the afternoon now, so we're probably gonna go, we'll try to get as far as Dalhunty. Yeah, um, we'll see how yeah, we go. See what Palm Creek looks like. Yeah, yeah, that's first up for, you, for those who know a little bit about the old telly-track. Hopefully we don't end up back here at the road here. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> So this is actually the first time that the D-Max has been in low range. <laughs> Roast me. Actually, it's, that's not true. It's, we tested it on a patch of grass, like out the back of a school or something. The amount of people that we've told the first place we're taking it off-road or even putting it in a low range is the old telly track. The uh, reactions we've gotten are quite, quite funny here. This would definitely be the most technical track we've done. We're not recovery experts, we're not winching experts. This is no. how you learn, isn't it? Do you, um, do you think that's proven in the fact that we basically, we pre-tensioned our, our winch yesterday? At Bramwell. At Bramwell Station. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go for today, because we hadn't done it. Thanks for the loan of the tree, guys. <laughs> so we're not very far in, and obviously this, this part's not very hard, but there's already, multiple tracks and routes you can take. Pretty much along the whole old telly track, um, there's, I guess, bypass or chicken, what do they call them? Chicken routes? Chicken, chicken tracks. Chicken tracks yeah. that you can take if you don't want to do the really, really hard um, full driving tracks. But even some of the chicken tracks are pretty challenging. Do you know that Palm Creek is the first one that we're gonna come up to and it's quite a challenging one. Good old welcome to the old telly track, I've been told. Well, I'd say this is it. 
Oh my goodness. Who's driving down that? Oh, that thing's oh. legit like gunshot. <gasps> Are they serious? Holy. That looks terrifying. <laughs> you can drive it. <laughs> Welcome to Palm Creek. <laughs> it's like, it's almost inverted. Not today. You don't want to give it a go? <laughs> Definitely a chicken track for us. For this one. All right, the chicken track on Palm Creek for us. So we obviously don't want to go wrecking stuff. I think we'll be forgiven for the chicken track on this one. That was pretty, pretty wild. How's that on the left? Look all right. Yeah, you're looking good. Oh, she's steep. That was a mirror. Oh, that wasn't ideal. That's why I put scrub bars on. Oh, made it. <laughs> Think I only just nicked the side mirror and the scrub bar. That was fun. I saw the mirror start scraping on the right hand side halfway up, so I folded that in. Otherwise, she looks pretty good. A little bit of scratchy, scratchy on the scrub scrub bars, but otherwise. It's what they're made for, right? Right. Stayed at uh, Ducey. I still don't know how to say it. 
Juicy Creek last night. I'm just gonna call it Juicy Creek. Juicy Creek. It was pretty juicy going through it. Yeah. <laughs> Emmy's first little off-road strap in the D-Max. Oh, so many. Uh, it's the, the tracks are pretty narrow in some parts. Nothing too crazy, just. You can just hear the scratch. When you've got a brand new D-Max, each little scratch hurts a little bit, but you know, if we were gonna be precious, we probably shouldn't have come on this track. So I'll let that go. So we're headed to South Alice, North Alice, Dalhunty. We'll just see how far we get. First, my first water crossing of the track. Here we go. Trying to just avoid those sneaky little holes. It's pretty shallow this one though. Good morning, peaceful little night here at Cholmondeley Creek. We're finding if you don't camp at the bigger, more popular places, you can often get the campsite to yourself. So we're heading up to Gunshot today and then we'll see how far we can get after that. I'm not sure um, exactly how bad it is, but we heard it's pretty muddy, so it could be interesting. Anyway, we'll crack on and we'll see you at Gunshot. What a maze. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm worried. 
like the the drop off there i'm worried we'd tip over if we did it we've got a fair bit of weight on the rear axle the, that's right on its rear axle limit and yeah it's just heavy up the top so i mean if we had the 105 i think i'd just give it a red hot go and if we had someone here with us yeah we do have like a year oh a year's worth of traveling to do breaking the d-max 2x in would not be good so we're looking at our other options looks like this is potentially a second option but just looking at it it looks just as steep almost just as steep as gunshot itself and then the track sort of out is very very narrow into that creek there i just don't know that there'd be enough um width on this section down here to even get it through Oh, they would, but we'd just... It'd, it'd be scrubbing the whole way, like... I honestly reckon our canopy would be pushing it to fit through there. It'd probably just make it, but not without some panel damage. I think there's one more track around to the other side that we might go and have a quick look at. Is there? Maybe. All right, well, let's check out the third option. We'll make a decision from then, but from what I've seen for the first two, I just don't think this is doable we get stuck here there's no other cars here either right now and that bike ain't pulling us out <laughs> another not really viable option well wow, really would be an understatement it's steep the next one around is just as bad. i don't even think this is an option Nah, <laughs> no, that's not an option that's, at all. <laughs> that's not even a track. <laughs> I was just filming this beautiful collection of car parts here so I could put together a tense montage of how scary Gunshot is for the video. We'll cue that now. And uh, not just car parts, we get left here. Someone's definitely done their undies in. <laughs> that could be me, it could be you. <laughs> we could have our undies up there. <laughs> All right, we've got another one coming down now. I think it's patrol. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> back on the track i think i'm okay with with this after seeing that patrol come down it hit hard so i, I don't really know what the damage report was if anything but it Did was you see the the tire was oh the tire that's right the tire came off the rim off the rim yeah i didn't get a shot of it but yeah the tire came off the rim there's definitely scraping on pretty much all four corners of his vehicle the chicken tracks as you call them for gun uh, gunshot were all as bad as gunshot so they basically chose that one because it was just as easy yeah easy <laughs> just as yeah bad. The, so, i think the corner on the other one the corner on the other one with the amount of clay and mud in there was challenging like just different challenges in their own rights really but yeah. anyway we're too far from home to wreck it so we're just gonna <laughs> scooch back down the gunshot bypass good thing is even though we're bypassing gunshot we aren't going to miss anything else on the track so we're going to go backtrack a little bit go around and we come back onto the old telly track to do sailor creek and cockatoo creek you're all over it yeah <laughs> um so yeah that's up next
and this is not the old telly track. I don't even know where we are right now, but yeah, no one's come through here in a while, hey. There's like branches sticking out everywhere. We just came out of Cockatoo Creek and 99% sure we took the wrong track because this thing is woolly. This is not. Oh, this is definitely the wrong track. This is not ideal. We sent the drone up. Oh, Send just, help. <laughs> we sent the drone up to have a look and we're pretty sure this thing heads uh, west, like too far west. The noises this thing is making. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're clear, you're just gonna... Yeah, that's it. Back to Cockatoo Creek Campground, where we can hopefully find the correct way back onto the old telly. Oh. oh, are you okay? So there's a rocky ledge. <laughs> <laughs> there's a rocky ledge here. <laughs> I was just going to take the camera off here because it's there's sort of like a it's like a wetland kind of just absolute, absolute perfect home for a crocodile. Mate, if that's not full of crocs, I don't know what it is. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, we got ourselves out of bed quite early this morning, which is good for us. Hey, we're trying to, trying to be better people. Trying to, yeah, <laughs> trying to stop sleeping half the day and then staying up all night. So, oh, we don't do that. But <laughs> yeah, we're at Fruit Bat Falls this morning. Last night was a bit of a non-event. We um, after we did Sailor Creek. We got to the end of the South Telly track and then we found somewhere to camp. It was just a side of the road, non-event kind of thing. Yeah, so we officially finished the South part of the Telegraph track last night. Yeah. Which was cool. Which was so we've fun. hit the, the start of the North. Highly recommend it. It's such a good time. Yeah, so our plan today is um, spend some time at Fruitback Falls and then head to Elliot and Twin Falls. And I guess these three sort of swimming areas are meant to be some of the most beautiful on the whole track. I think I've even read like lots of people rate, I'm not sure if it's this one or Elliot and Twin, one of them as probably one of the most beautiful swimming spots in the whole of the country. Mm. So that's a pretty big call to make. I'm pretty keen to see if that holds up. All right, let's go check it out. Got to be up there with one of the best spots I've ever been to. So I never believe the storm is 
Check it out. That is absolutely beautiful. How good. Wow. What do you reckon? Country is just so good. Seriously, how good is the Cape? And it's it's not just about the four-wheel driving tracks and the off-roading stuff. It's got to be some of the most beautiful locations in the world up here. Just incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Wow. before we actually cross over and this is off to the side Cape York just keeps on getting better have a look at that that's absolutely amazing
we made it to the tip of Australia. We did it. <laughs> we have finished the old telly track. We ended up jumping off just before Mistake Creek, uh, a little bit into the nor northern section of the track. It was such a great way to end the track. Probat Falls, Twin Elliot were just absolutely beautiful. Um, already missing it, even though it's been less than a day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely phenomenal trip up here. But you could honestly spend weeks and weeks here. You could spend months here. It's, there's just, there's so much to do. Um, yeah, we absolutely loved it. Highly recommend coming up if you haven't been here. It's not just about the four-wheel driving. It's, um, yeah, it's just, it's the whole Cape experience that you, you would absolutely love if you love doing this kind of thing. So. This is where this episode ends at the northernmost point on the Australian continent. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.